My name is Kevin Egan, and I'm a Jesus follower. Welcome to week six in the Jesus Follower. This week we're talking about the part of the definition of what it means, what it looks like to imitate his life. And this week we're going to talk quite a bit about the Holy Spirit and the role of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit enables us to reflect the life of Jesus to those around us. The uniqueness of what the Spirit does as he lives in us, as he enables and he empowers, that's part of how we live out faith. It's not done on our own. It's not done because we will it, but it's done because the Holy Spirit resides in us and enables and empowers. And that's what allows us to reflect the life of Jesus. So this week, let's learn together about the role of the Holy Spirit and the work of the Holy Spirit in our life, everyday life, as we imitate the life of Jesus. So let's dig in. Let's study together. When I was young, uh, I, I referred to myself uh, as a flower child. I went to church uh, when there were a lot of flowers, whether it be Christmas, Easter, funeral, wedding, and uh, that's all I really knew about church or God. And as I uh, got older into my teen years, uh, there were a lot of things in my life that I would say were uh, undesirable. Uh, a couple of them were, you know, bad divorce with my parents, uh, very ugly, uh, left us uh, without much money, um, working at a young age, house burned down, lost everything, mom got cancer, and um, I was like, wow, you know, life is really tough. It's every man for himself. And so I developed uh, a lot of bad habits. Uh, I think it's safe to say I was uh, more destructive than constructive. And that went on into my early 20s. At that point, um, I'm not sure what um, instigated it, but I felt like I needed to go to church, so I did. I only knew one denomination at the time, so I found a church near where I was living that was this particular denomination, and I went there, and it was like um, it was like I had walked into the wrong gender restroom. Uh, there was sort of a gasping and people turning around and looking at me, and I didn't know why. And uh, when the service began, I understood why because it was a non-English speaking church, and uh, so I <laughs> I quickly left and. Uh, but I wasn't deterred, and I still felt uh, a call that um, there was something different in store for me. So uh, the next week, I went to another church, same denomination, and, um, and it was fine. And I went there for a while, and then eventually I met uh, this awesome young lady, not at church, but she was a churchgoer. And so um, we decided to go to uh, more of a her type of denomination church, which is really more like Cool Spring. And we went to both churches every week uh, for quite a while, maybe trying to make up for lost time, but being fed nonetheless. And um, we ultimately settled on a church similar to Cool Spring, um, got very involved ultimately, and uh, ended up uh, being on stage, doing dramas, uh, both funny and poignant, and um, um, I was doing some openings, but I knew at the end of every service something happened that I didn't have all the information about. And we had this awesome young pastor, and he would do what I now know is an altar call and ask people if they had accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. And um, I never really knew what that meant. so. I asked for a meeting with our pastor and uh, asked him what that was all about. And uh, he really described me um, where I did um, read the Bible as fact and, um, and that I had um, given my life over to Christ uh, and that I did desire to be baptized uh, in his name. And uh, so 
uh, that happened. Um, and then I uh, married this awesome <laughs> young lady. Uh, baptism was important to me first, uh, so that God was in the midst of it. And um, my life changed um, from then on. And really, um, uh, and I said, uh, I had been more destructive than constructive, and that all changed. Uh, the purpose in my life was really driven more about um, loving uh, everyone, um, even those who didn't really show love to me, um, being um, proactive in not only transforming others' lives, but also my life every day. And in that process, I realized that all these um, horrible things of my youth, um, that I was really thankful for them because those things really um, were used in me by God uh, to make me the person uh, that I am today. Um, just really more about uh, pouring into youth. How can I serve my community? Um, how can I impact others' lives? Um, and what direction to take in my life and what different events in my life um, mean to me and mean to my walk and how I'm supposed to react. Um, I think of so many times in my daily walk that I'm so grateful uh, that I'm a Christ follower uh, because of uh, my different perspective uh, and my support and my Heavenly Father.